phone. I was out out in the vegetable gardens playing around out there. Wife came out with the phone and it was the doctor. She said, uh, pack a bag, you're coming into the emergency room. And I said, well, is this going to just be a couple hours? She goes, no, you'll be here for a couple of days. I'm like, wow, this is uh, July 2nd. So I got to spend July 4th in the hospital. My blood sugars were at 650. Normal person's 80 to 120. So I had extremely elevated blood sugars uh, due to the onset of type 2 diabetes. I remember the last period, I, the day I got diagnosed, I had to run a mile for FIAD. And it was possibly the most painful experience I've ever had. And so we went to the doctor right after school ended. And that night I was in the hospital for two and a half days. We barely scratched the surface with type two, and now we had type one as well, which is, you know, one is auto, type one's autoimmune, there's no insulin production, type two is hereditary, and you just don't use the insulin as well as possible. But when she was diagnosed, when we got home, you know, with this immense learning curve, I called our insurance at the time, which was, no, they didn't, for three months worth of insulin, the Lantus for three months, the Novolog for three months, the test strips, everything we needed to keep her alive for three months would cost our entire um, deduct out-of-pocket deductible is $2,600 for the first three months. And I just went to our local pharmacist because we're in a small town and, and just started crying. I'm like, well, I don't know what to do. I don't know how we handle this. So they lined us up with the hospital who has a contract with the government for insulin. So Carly has actually been getting her insulin through um, our hospital system. And um, that works while she's living here. And Ted has started getting his that way as well. I was on Novolog and Lantus. And then about three, three and a half years in, I switched to a pump. So I only needed Novolog after that. After the five years, when I started to get a, a slow tick up in my quarterly numbers, you know, it was time to make the move. So I wasn't, I was deathly afraid of needles and I wasn't excited about going on insulin. Um, but I was able to, I, I started insulin for a bit um, and was able to get over that. And then January of this year, I had my quarterly checkup talking to the doctor. I said, you know, I know there's a lot of other medicines out there, you know, oral medications. I would rather go to that rather than take the big leap all the way to insulin dependency. We got United Healthcare starting in January of 2015, February of 2015. Uh, I started a new job. So it was it, pretty bare bones. It's, it's a basic plan but it was very high deductibles. Um, and at that time we had CVS pharmacy for our prescription plan. And it, basically the same thing, you know, the medicines are extremely expensive. The plan is everything's out of pocket. Family maximums, 10,000 out of pocket. We hit individuals in our plan under me, so it'd be my kids and my wife and myself, each have a $3,000 max out of pocket, or excuse me, $3,000 deductible, 5,000 max out of pocket for each person, <clears throat> excuse me. And then uh, our plans keep changing. The pharmacy changed to Express Scripts for three years and now we're on to Optum. It's still under United Healthcare, but they, United Health Group, but they keep changing the uh, pharmacy plan, but the benefits within that plan are almost the same. But what we run into is based on their formularies, keep changing certain medicines are covered and certain medicines aren't based on that formulary that changes every year. So we run into, well, we were on this medicine for the last two years, but now it's not covered under the current plans. We have to either pay the, the full price, which is usually astronomical, especially if it's still on patent, uh, or 
try something different. Every time we change insurance, our meters change. So this is my box of meters. There's 15 meters in there. They all do exactly the same thing. There's no reason we should have to change meters when they do exactly the same thing. You know, that's just stupid. It's, it's, it's just, there's no, no point to it. It's just money for somebody else. You know, I mean, they may update, but I think all insurance companies should cover all meters because it is, you know, they're what they do. And by with our problem is they control what Ted can take. They control what Carly can take, you know, and Carly's pump works for her lifestyle and was covered by the by express scripts but now we need prior authorization from the doctor for the test strips for it through optimal i don't want to waste my doctor's time by saying hey guess what my new insurance doesn't cover this can you please write me a little note that says my daughter needs to use these test strips and the Did thing you? is there's never a problem insurance says yeah absolutely we'll cover that why why do i have to jump through that hoop type 1 diabetics tend to have more than one problem because it's autoimmune. The more you have, the more you get. So there are other things that um, are more personal that we're not going to discuss that also cost a ton of money to help her live her life. Mm -hmm. Our out of pocket for, medic for medication and, you know, okay, there might be a couple of antibiotics in there somewhere, but our diabetic out of pocket a year is about $10,000. Out of pocket. That's uh, yeah, and the labs, um, and all the drugs, and all the equipment. We're in our fifties, and we ask our parents for money to pay medical bills. We are always on a payment plan. I pay a hundred bucks a month for pods. I pay a hundred bucks a month towards children's hospitals. You know, it's just figured into our budgets. But if there's an ER visit or there's a change in medication, or there's extra labs or anything else, it's always 10 to $12,000 out of pocket a year. The markups are insane. I mean, we just went through it and I know I emailed it to you, but the ketone strips, which test blood or test um, ketones in your blood. I mean, everybody covers the urine strips, but who wants to carry a box of those around? This is discreet, this is, you know, this is what works. It's more accurate. Too. It's more accurate. So when we ordered, when I asked about them, when I went through Optum, two boxes, which is 20 strips. Um, a box, was it 10 per? One box is two vials, one vial is 10 strips. It's okay, 10, so 20 strips per box. Yeah, so two boxes would be 40 strips. It's $139.41. So I called the manufacturer to see if they had a coupon and they didn't have a coupon, but you can buy directly from them. And she said, and I quote, it's always $19.99 a box from us. We try to keep it as affordable as possible. And we've just started going to the manufacturers for coupons and to find stuff out, but we shouldn't have to. I personally, not as the diabetic, I personally think that it's ridiculous that we can actually go to the manufacturer and cut out the prescription or company and do better. I think that all meters should be accepted by all insurance companies. I think that insurance companies should accept all pumps because it's not about them. It's about the best life possible for the diabetic when the general public can can contact the manufacturer directly and buy it that much cheaper. That if we're gonna run our medications through that pharmacy, um, you know, that's a you know the third party provider pharmacy, it, it can't the pricing's gotta be a little bit better. Right now people's health and lives and like disabilities are being turned into a business. And while that might happen a lot, it doesn't make it any less wrong.